What's up guys, Cord Horde here. I'm here with Doug. I'm here with Leroy, the birthday boy. It's his birthday today. And for his birthday, Doug lined up this incredible house. If you can see the sign over the door, this house was built in 1685. And we're in America, can you believe it? It's a huge property, the super nice homeowner. Kyle's here too, he's over there, he's already started. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna find some amazing things today and we'll be back on the first dig. See you soon, later. Yeah. See you. Bye. Doug and I are going along in the front. We're doing the front, Leroy and Kyle are doing the side. We just found this little tiny bird. Yeah, there's not a fly yet. Doug's trying to reach out. Let's see if I can reach out and touch the little guy. Yeah. Oh, I've already been attacked by fowl this year. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a worm or something to give him. Well, I, be I believe we'll find a few today. Hey, cutie pie. Hey. Lots of wildlife on my channel recently, Doug. I'm like Jack Hanna. Well, start so pretty posting cool. it on the animal channel. <laughs> see you later, birdie. Right, Doug's working the front of his house. He just called me. He's got something. You can see the sign on the front of the door. 18, I'm sorry, 1685. What a beautiful house. Where do you see the rest of the property, too? But Doug's got something over here. Let's see what he's got. What you got there, Doug? Look for Oh yeah, he's got a buckle. Looks a little old. Yeah, it's a strange shape to it. It's like perfectly. Is that even a buckle? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it. I guess it. Oh yeah, oh, you know it's probably a long ways. I bet the time was on this fat end down here, Doug. Right, thumb. right, right. Yeah, I just didn't see a spot where the time would be. All right, guys, I just got an incredible one. I'm only down about maybe five inches. This was bouncing in the low 70s, 70 to 73, and I pulled this out. Now, I don't know what it is yet, but it is a big piece of copper. Holy cow. I'm going to give it a gentle rub. <gasps> Let me go show Doug. I'm going to have him hold the camera. Hang on. Can you see the one cent on there? I didn't even really let it dry. I just got a soft bristle brush and started going at it, and it is clearly a matron head. Look too small. It almost looks, Doug, by my thumb, it looks like a seven. So maybe like yeah. 1847. Or 37? Or 37. I don't even know what year these are, uh, you know, all the years. Early 1800s, I believe. They... So that gives us talk about giving us high hopes, Doug. As soon as I saw the sign over the house that said 1685, I had high hopes. But oh, nice. awesome coin. Good I gotta find Leroy and, and Half Kyle. an hour. Woo, y'all, baby. Yeah, man. Well, my second decent signal of the day actually came up almost exactly the same as the large scent did. And it's a true, I think it says true value. A modern key. <laughs> How funny is that? About maybe three or four inches down, but it was bouncing in the low to mid 70s. So uh, you got to dig those low to mid 70s. But just a key. I'll take it though. Keep on digging. We're on the side of the house now. The side of the house has a marking at the top that says 1819. So I think the original part of the house was 1685, and then 1819 on this side. And this property just goes on and on and on, all up there. All right, we've been here maybe anyway. an hour. This is the first time I've seen Kyle. This place is huge. I mean, it's literally probably, I don't know, maybe 10 acres. And there's just all of us in all directions. But here's Kyle's notable finds. I thought this was a ring, but it's threaded inside, but it sounded uh, great. Yeah. Let me walk over to the sun a little bit here, Kyle, so I can see him better. Yeah, bummer. This thing has like a little... Uh... Oh, that's a pretty cool little thing. Well, it looks like a pulley up here, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess it went this way. Yeah. Um, um, what do you call that when the kids when the kids do that? Zip line. Yeah, yeah, midget zip line. This little, I think it might be costume jewelry. Oh, that's know. pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know if my camera's focusing. Oh, now I can see it. Okay. Well, my my hand. I only have one hand, Kyle, and you're loading it with stuff here. But I would also got. And that. What is that? I guess it's a two glasses, maybe at first, or a bracelet. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I haven't really had a chance to look. Any at coins it. at all? A couple of Wheaties. Awesome. Hey, good start. I already showed everyone else my finds, but I'm going to show you right now. So uh, right, we're going back to the cars again. to empty the bags out. And Kyle just showed me this thing he found. That's pretty cool. Now Kyle said it was me and him, but I don't think it is. If it is, I'm the one on the left, Kyle, because I think it's Mr. and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. I think it almost looks like a shrinky dink, Kyle, but I don't know where the metal is. Maybe just on the outside? I don't know. Pretty cool, but it sure looks like Mr. Claus, at least the guy on the left. 
Awesome little find there, bud. Thanks. Alright, Doug's walking up and he looks confident. I think he's got something. Let's see what it is. Pal, are you ready? Alright, he's reaching. He's reaching. Wow! Is that complete? Yeah. Oh, I'll never wow, find a complete that's one. That's beautiful. Except for the handle, but yeah. look at that. Cap pistol. Holy Isn't cow. That, cool? that is nice. Was that way, way out where you were? You were way out, out there. By that far tree, yeah. That is really cool. And a weedy. Well, you're a weedy. I don't know. I have to get my glasses off. Look at that. Oh, I love that, Doug. And I got a little button. I have no clue. Doug's got a little button. I don't know if you want to go say whoa, it. I don't whoa. know if you want to say that on camera. Hey, hold that. Hold his gun there, Kyle. <laughs> All right, let's filter through the, the trash. Yeah. Is that it? No, oh, that's your weedy? Yeah. I got, I think, one or two weedies. Did you? Go Getting a lot of here. this uh, metal stuff. metal stuff. Here, let me dump my lots of metal stuff. Lots of metal stuff. Hard to avoid it. It's like <laughs> yeah. yeah. You try to avoid it. <laughs> yeah. It's just so hard to do with trying to, to tune find out the, the metal and it just find keeps the dirt it. bombs. Yeah. And another piece of junk. Looks like a gas cap or something. Here it is. Oh, here it is. I have no clue what this is. But it rang up 82, 84. Oh, it looks like a bale seal, Doug. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a lead bale seal. They would put this on top of the bag and they would stamp it with these marks. You can tell it's lead. It's got a mark on it, yeah, but I can't. That's what they would do. They would stamp the company name or something like that. Oh, well, then. Uh, that's really good. This could be 1700s, Doug. Uh, to me, it's 1700s. It could be. NHB, you can probably can you find see, out what that is. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, let me N get my glass. NHB on this side. Right also some place. markings over there. Awesome fine. That's super old. Oh, I just plucked a hem weight. It's lead. Yeah, I found hem weights before. Put them on dresses to hold the fabric taunt. This could be pretty old. It's all lead. Uh, awesome fine there. Uh, we're heading to the back. I see the homeowners out there talking to Leroy. I'm going to go over and say hello because that's what I do. And uh, back in the next Oh, time. you hold it. Cheers. That's Kyle's new notable find. Some sort of a reflector. It looks like it's on uh, steel or aluminum. Doug thought it was a Cyclops eye. I'm not sure. Kyle, let me see the Cyclops, Cyclops eye. Oh, uh, that's cool. Remember the movie Dune? Didn't that guy have something yeah, like that? Yeah. Pretty sure it's a precious stone. I think it probably oh. is. It's probably chances aluminum. are good. No yeah. Because if I had a ruby, I would mount it on aluminum. Right. Yeah. That's gonna show it off. <laughs> is that best. an orange ruby? <laughs> oh, he's like Vanna White. I like that. I like that little move. I'll Give me an, an E. I'll have an I. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I. I said E. I blew it. Yeah. Good find. All right. There's a lot of signals in the front yard, but he's got a lot of lights in the lawn, so there's electrical wires all over. Uh, the homeowner told me that this. Is the original carriage house here from the early 1800s so he said behind the old carriage house there's still a lot of the old earth we're up in here they may have put some fill in there's a giant tree they took down so i'm going to cut through go to the back the back of the carriage house see what we got doug's on the other side doug's found some really good stuff i didn't get it on video yet but i'll put it later and uh we'll go back there and find leroy so back on the next one all right i walked around to the back of the house you can see it's one of the old sheds this is the back, and this is the original carriage house, probably uh, early 1800s or so. I'm back here, I found a few modern coins, something like that, and down here I got a pretty cool, it's a compact. It's really hot today, sorry for breathing, it's so heavy. It's a woman's compact, I think. You can see, ah, oh, oh, bug, sorry. I'm going to clean this up. Hang on a second. Well, I can't really clean up too much. I left my towel in the car. But if you can see that cool design on there, it's a piece of glass in the middle, which looks like it's broken. And it's got those cool rounded lines going all the way around it. I'm in a weird spot here, so I don't know if it's going to pick it up or not. It did open up. There we go. You can kind of see it. It did open up. Yeah, just a woman's compact, but they're always pretty cool. I'll clean up. There could be some writing on it. I'll clean it up later. I left my towel in the car. But pretty cool find. I was hoping that was... All right, Doug called me over. I know he's got a couple Wheaties on the day, and he said he had something good. Oh, he does. 
Oh, it's a beautiful barber dime, Doug. Yes. Look, I didn't even notice, but look at the headdress on there. Look how clear that is. It's in pretty good shape. I'm looking at it through my phone, Doug and I. It looks like it's 1906. Yep. And there's, I'm going to put it in the shade a little bit. But look at all the detail on there. Usually when a barber dime, Doug, is slick out, it is so ugly. Yeah. But when it has the detail like that, congratulations. Yeah. How deep was it? Six, seven inches. One dime. You're a winner, sir. Yeah. Awesome find. Very yeah, good. Like all right, good find here. I'm in the side yard. You see all this property. It's just amazing. There's the house, and it just goes on that way, the house, the carriage house, everything. I'm out here in the middle of the field. I had a squeaky one, but it was in the high 70s, and I dug it up. That's a religious pendant. It's got the virgin mother on there. This could be sterling. Who knows? Looks like there's some writing on the back. No, I can't read it in my phone. It might even be upside down. But I will show it later. I dropped it, of course, which I always do. Um, I'll show it at the end, but uh, it's definitely a pretty cool piece. Yeah, look, there's his writing. I don't know, something, something about Moses or roses. I don't know. But pretty cool. I like it. It could be Sterling. I'll show Doug. I don't know where the heck Doug is or Leroy. They're like a, more like a miles apart. This place is so big. But good find. Let's keep on going. Uh, Doug called me, he said he's got something good. Oh, he's got a dog tag. Whitey. Belonged to M. E. Phillips, uh, Winchester Road, Langhorn. Is that one of those crazy phone numbers at the bottom? Yes, it is. SK7. Yeah. So it's probably from at least the 50s, would you say? Maybe the 40s? 50s. I don't see a zip code. Yeah, there's that phone number. Yep. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Let me see that. Whitey? Whitey. Pretty cool, Whitey. Yeah. If you keep digging, you might find more of Whitey, so you better stop there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leroy's got something. I was over here, too. I kind of stopped here and then went back that way, so maybe I should have went that extra five feet. I got two of them in the plug. Oh, you do. Leroy, that's a big one. That's going to be a half. And that's going to be a dime. It looks like you do have two of them. Go ahead, pop them out, Leroy. That might be a Franklin, I'm going to guess. Oh, there's no oh look, you got something underneath of it, too. Yeah. Oh, it's a walker, oh. Leroy. Oh, man. You got a that's walker. Awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. Is there a date? Doug. Look at that. Is there a date on it? 1946. Oh, let that's... me see that. I've never dug one before. Oh man, underneath of it too was a penny, mm -hmm. which has got to be a wheat penny, right? And look at that, it's got a little stain on it too, probably from sitting against this coin. Look, you can see the penny impression on yeah, the back of it. it. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. You can see the penny impression. And then he's got a dime over here too. There could be Let's more. Let's see what that is. It's probably going to be a mercury dime mm -hmm. if I had to guess. Yep, it's a mercury dime. I don't have my water bottle. With I don't have mine either. It's not an aluminum circle. That's a oh, Rose it's a Roosevelt. That's oh, Rose. Doug, look at this he got. Look, you can see the. Don't even rub the wheat penny oh. stain off. Oh. Don't rub the wheat penny stain off. I, I think that gives it a lot of character. Oh, that's. It's oh, the man. birthday boy. Birthday boy. Happy uh, birthday, thanks. Leroy. <laughs> Awesome job. I'm really happy. Well, now for we you. don't have to give him a present. Leroy, I love the 1946. Yeah, turn it over, Doug. 1946. I love the wheat penny impression that it left there. Look at that. I, I, well, you're probably going to rub it off, but that is really cool. And let me see the. Uh, oh, congratulations, man. Thank you. And what year thank is the you. weedy? We don't know yet. I don't know. Well, I'll check With it out. With a rosy. That's nice. Oh, man. Awesome find. 1951 rosy. All good years, Doug. All good years. That 50 was better. Was it 50 better? Yeah, that's when I... Is there more? No, that's it. Uh, my what, big... are you getting greedy now? My, my big coil, I'll have to verify <laughs> no. that, Leroy. <laughs> <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> Doug just called me. He's way back over there. But as he called me, I had something. I popped it out. I see it sitting right here. It's still covered in dirt. I think it's going to be a coin. And it's pretty big. It's like quarter size, but it doesn't look shiny. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for Doug and we're gonna pop it out and we're gonna take a look at it together. All right, here's Doug's farm. We had a double banger. It is enormous. You can see it in my hand. I want to say it's like a compact, but it would have like four compartments. You can see there's a see, button it looks here. Like it opens there. And it is very very heavy. Maybe it's. Uh, is there a way you can open it even more? Uh, I'm gonna try. Without breaking it. Can't promise anything. I just wonder what the heck is inside of it. It's I so hope heavy. it's a standing Liberty quarter or, <laughs> <laughs> or a walking Liberty. We don't know what this is. I'll trade you though for your walking Liberty. Oh, let me check it out a little bit. It's probably got uh, a gold coin you stuck think? in there. Well, you show me the gold coin and I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> now look, here's what I got. I popped mine out. It's sitting right here. Now it could be a shotgun shell, but look how big it is. I'm gonna see if I can open uh, it up. It looks like a coin. It's a coin. I think you just took the. Can lead. you hold my 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 camera? Yes, Doug? I can. Hold on. I have a battery hanging from it. I don't think it's going to take the lead for what Leroy has. Well, it looks like it's older than uh, Leroy's. That's. Man. Can you see anything yet? I'm starting to see some letters coming in. I don't know if the no, camera's going to pick it up. Uh, it, it's not. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there's some letters there. It's awfully dark. Yeah, I think you're going to have to do a little better cleaning. I will, I will. I'm going to let it dry. What size is that? About nickel? Size? No, no, it's, it's actually bigger than slightly that. smaller than a quarter. And I don't know. And it was really deep. If you can see my pinpointer, it's probably Ooh. eight inches deep or so. I can see. Yeah, some... there's a little bit of writing coming through. Yeah, it's getting too dark, and my phone, my phone won't focus in. So, uh, oh man, we're gonna have to clean I, this up. That's and a I'll coin. It's I, I, or a I, token. Yeah, at least the one. We're back. If you're able to see. It says, ah oh, man, we think it in the middle. It says one, but it is thin. And it is smaller than a kg, so I don't know what it is yet. We're going to have to really work on it later. At the moment, it is just slick. But uh, I think it's going to be old, but who knows. Wow, I got this really cool thing. Some sort of a dresser drawer pull, but man, look at that. That is beautiful. I just pulled that really, really old-looking coin, whatever the heck it is. I'm going to have to clean it later. And this is some sort of a pull for, I don't know, a dresser or a knocker. I'm in the back of the house. You can see the house right there. House was built in 1685. Oh my goodness, 1685. So uh, yeah, we're right in the back here. We got a big area and the stuff I'm finding is pretty deep. Even this thing was probably about eight inches deep, but uh, really good find. I'll take that. I may have just gotten the coolest token ever. Doug is way back there. Leroy's over here. This token is the size of an Eisenhower dollar. Look at that thing. It says knights, something knights is enough. And there's a knight on a horn. Look at that son of a gun. Holy cow. Oh, I hope I didn't bend it. It's not broken, but it is bent. This side. Oh man, let me clean this off. Hang on. Ooh, once a night is. That is incredible. It's probably like maybe the Knights of Columbus or something, you think? Once a night is enough. <laughs> what? Yeah, at once my age, night? once is enough. <laughs> is that what it says? Once a night is enough? Once a night is enough. And it's K N I G H T. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on, have a uh, something uh, always. Let me brush it. it. Let me brush yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to need some, I might have to toothpick it. It's just not coming off. And, and <laughs> check out. Oh, oh, the, the, <laughs> Is that a double on time? It's, it's a limp, it's a limp uh, javelin Jou or joust, whatever. Jousting pole. It's a, oh, it's a it must be some sort of dirty thing. Yeah. Oh, I might not be able to show this clip. Oh, I didn't even notice shame. that. It's like. It's like. <laughs> 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 oh. That's a shame. You're going to need a rated R channel. Yeah, I don't know oh, what the heck that, that is. 
Is it? It's aluminum. It's aluminum I for guess. sure. I bet you it rang up nice. Oh yeah, it? it was super loud. <laughs> I had to lift my coil up to make sure it wasn't a tin can. It was so loud. Well, that is really <laughs> cool. Well, we're gonna have to edit this clip down, but uh, it's a really cool imagery there. <laughs> it is. Cool. I mean, it is, but I might not be able to show it if it's. Oh, you're, you're gonna have to edit it. Uh, I will. You, you pointed out the limp javelin. You killed me. <laughs> Well, that is me. I love it. I just the subject matter. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> PG wow. Channel. Oh, another yeah. triple banger here. Leroy just walked over with a dog tag. Doug's trying to clean it. It's the same name, yes. homeowner's name and address as the one Doug did earlier. Doug dug this thing, which says Bucks County. I don't know what it is. If this is also a dog tag. That's Langhorn right there. Okay. Might be 19. And that's a phone number there at the bottom. So Doug's got a cool thing, and I'm actually digging a 74 right there, which might be a zinker, but I'm going to dig it. So a uh, nice double, guys. Yeah. Oh, my first Indian after only what, nine hours, Doug? Yeah. After nine hours? I'm surprised it took that long. Well, this is clearly the old part because that other coin I got, Doug, is going to be an old one. Can you see uh, a date? 1903, Doug. Nice. It's an Indian. Nice. 1903. It's in really nice shape, too. Uh, All right. That's okay. But this is going to be the hot spot, I think. It's almost dark, but for what we have left, awesome coin. All right. It's getting dark. We're getting ready to wrap it up soon. And Leroy just got a cool little piece of bling. He got a little flag pin. Flip that over for me, Leroy. See the pin back on there? Now, uh, who knows what country that is. If anybody knows, maybe Spain or something? I'm just gonna hold it for one yeah, second. Yeah, I have no idea. It looks like it's almost enameled too, Leroy. Yeah. Up in the corner, up in the very top left, I see a star and underneath of it, do you see it at like 11 o'clock? Right yeah, I there. see it, but I can't. Can't really make out what it is. All right, what we'll do is we're going to watch the Olympics tonight, and we'll just watch every fly come out, and we should okay. figure it out. Very cool, though. I don't know yeah. what country it is, but that's yeah. pretty cool. Very nice. Yep. Look at this yep. I just pulled out. It's another woman's compact, and this is going to be a sterling one, and there's initials on it. I think it's going to be sterling. Look how this cleans up. Wait, is it a compact? Oh, I lied. It's a lighter. It's a lighter, I think. Let me go show Doug. That's what I think it is. I think I ID'd it wrong. Doug, look at this. That is a lighter. That's a and lighter. It's, it's initialed. Initialed. It looks pretty nice. Let me get my glasses on and see what... It's cleaning up nice, isn't it? That's probably the same Ronson, guy that... Ronson Adonis. Maybe it's not Sterling. That's what they used to call me. Ronson Adonis? No, just Adonis. Oh, just Adonis? Yeah. Well, there's a patent date on it. Let's see if I see. BJK. Doug. That's an awesome one. Very cool find. That is nice. I love it. All right, here's my wrap up, guys. I'm going to try to fly through it. I know this video is long. Uh, I got this piece of iron, just thought the shape was really cool. I uh, don't know what this is, some sort of a little, maybe a wheel. Uh, this is just junk, but it says press, so I'm going to follow instructions. Uh, modern key, true value. This car I thought was a Tootsie, it's actually a Barkley. Well, it's half a Barkley, but pretty cool. Uh, a little piece of fancy brass, don't know. Drawer pole, thought it was pretty cool. Might get that back to the homeowner if he wants it. Got the lighter. Has the initials on it, BJK. It's a Ronsonol Adonis, I believe it said. I don't know, it's on the bottom somewhere. Uh, piece of junk, smaller piece of junk. Uh, I got the Woman's Compact, which is pretty cool. It has that really nice marking on the top. It's got a piece of glass where you can actually see into it if it wasn't broken, which I've never seen that before. On the back, it has some writing. Um, uh, you could read it. Cody, New York, some sort of rouge. I don't know. 
So it's really cool. I've never seen one with that glass on the front to see through. I found this pen. I know it's just a pen. This is really heavy. It has the guy's name on it. TSC Department something or other. Len Charney. I looked him up. This guy just died this past February. I think he was like 88. Uh, he was in the army, served in the military, uh, was, was, a, was a teacher at this school. Really smart guy. The homeowner did not know him or recognize him, so maybe he was a friend of the old owner. But it's a pretty heavy quality pen. So I uh, thought so that was pretty cool. I was able to actually track him down. And so, like I said, he just passed away, so sorry to see that. A uh, little circle piece there. I only kept it because it had some writing on there at the top, but it's garbage. Uh, Hemweight, lead Hemweight. Like I said, you've seen them before. You used to keep the women's clothing taunt and hem them up. Uh, this might be the only piece of silver I got today. Little bling virgin mother cross. On the back, it has some writing. Um, utter my death. Something will fall. I can't read it in my camera. I don't know. You guys can read it though. But it might be sterling. It could be aluminum. Who knows? Uh, my coins. These are my modern pennies. But I did get this funky one that, you know, half of that clad layer is missing all around the rim. How crazy is that? So, uh, I don't know. I've never seen one quite like that. Uh, modern nickels. I got three of them. Uh, lucky 13 dimes. Nine quarters. Brings my beige today. Quarter count to 178. I got five wheat pennies. None of them are key dates. So, I'll just show you the backs of them. And then my cool coiny things. I got this token. Which is a monster size. Once a night is enough. And it's got that really cool picture of the knight and the horse with the uh, the limp jousting stick and on the back. I didn't clean it purposely because I don't know if there's inappropriate pictures on there. Once a king, always a king. But uh, I thought it was really cool. I got one Indian penny, 1903. I got one US large cent, which I can't pick it up in the camera. I thought I saw a seven, so maybe like 1937. I could be wrong, it's starting to get dark, but uh, still really nice. Big, thick US large scent. Those are always great to find. And then my mystery coin, which if any of you guys look on Facebook, this caused quite a stir. People were yelling at each other. I believe it's a US half cent. It measures 23, a little over 23 millimeters. In the middle, I think it says half cent, but it's so faint, it's hard to see. You can see the, the, the wreath around it. You know, the bust would be on this side, but you can't see it. But it's about the size of a half cent, which is slightly smaller than a quarter, slightly bigger than a nickel, very, very thin. Especially if I compare it to the large cent, you can see the difference in thickness. But I think that's what it is. It's really toasty. I might try to put it under electrolysis, and if it ruins it, it ruins it. I mean, it's not like I got a whole lot there. But uh, pretty cool. I'll take it. Some pretty good finds. But man, I think the guys did, you know, just really outdid me this week. Yeah, all of us did really well. This house was great. It was Leroy's birthday. Happy birthday, Leroy. And he had the find of the day with that coin spill with a walker, uh, with the impression of the penny and two silver dimes he found. Not only have I never dug a walker, I've never even been with anyone when they dug a walker. So that was awesome even to see. Congratulations, Leroy. Doug had some silver coins. He had that awesome cap gun, the best looking cap gun I've ever seen. Kyle had to leave early. He had family things to do, but I'm glad he got a couple hours out with us. Next week, me and Doug will be back at the same house again. We're gonna finish up the last of it. And then we got another one lined up around the corner. I think that one is like 1730. But uh, man, what a great house. What a great week. I'm glad we were all able to get together. So thanks for watching everybody. Happy hunting. I'll see you in the next one. Later.